Hi, I'm Matt Jorno. I'm the branch secretary of the Australasian Meat Industry Employees Union Queensland branch. Morris Blackburn have put together a short video just to let members know what their rights are. We've had a relationship with Morris Blackburn for over a decade now and over that time they've done a great job in looking after our members. If you do have any questions, just contact your organiser and get a free referral to Morris Blackburn who will be more than happy to give you the advice you, you need. Hi, I'm Michelle James, Principal at Morris Blackburn Lawyers and I'm going to be answering the most frequently asked questions about workers' compensation. Understanding your workers' compensation entitlements and the associated claims process can be overwhelming and you may have many questions about what you are entitled to. So who can claim workers' compensation? You may be entitled to claim benefits if you're injured at work, during the course of your work, on your way to or from work, or during a break from work, if you're working full-time, part-time, casually, or on a contract. Even if you're not covered by workers' compensation, you may have entitlements under other areas of law. What types of injuries are covered? All types of injuries are covered, including physical, psychological, wear and tear or repetitive strain, hearing loss and aggravations of pre-existing conditions. What benefits are available? Benefits are available to all injured workers regardless of who caused their accident or injuries. Benefits include loss of wages, medical, surgical, hospital expenses, travel expenses, rehabilitation, treatment, return to work support, rehab aids and compensation for permanent impairment. Should I see my own doctor after an injury at work? You have the right to see your own doctor if you're injured at work. You should always see your own doctor in relation to your treatment and fitness for work in relation to work injuries, not the company doctor. You should never simply accept the advice of the insurer's doctor that you're fit for work. You should always consult with your own treating doctor and be guided by their recommendation. Are there time limits to making a claim? Yes. Different time limits apply during your claim process. Six months from when you first saw a doctor and three years for common law claims. However, in some circumstances extensions may be granted. You should contact Morris Blackburn for advice. How do you claim statutory benefits? Report the injury to your employer and attend your own doctor to obtain a workers' compensation medical certificate. Lodge your claim online, over the phone or if self-insured with your insurer directly and keep all documentation in relation to your injury and your application. Once you've lodged your application, your insurer has 20 business days to accept or reject it. It's illegal for your employer to tell you not to make a claim. Never accept money from your employer in place of lodging a compensation claim. A permanent offer is made in a notice of assessment. You shouldn't respond to this notice of assessment without first seeking urgent legal advice. Short time frames apply and your response can affect your entitlements. What if your claim for statutory benefits is rejected? If the insurer rejects your claim, it can be reviewed by the workers' compensation regulator you have three months to do this and you should seek legal advice before lodging your application for review. Can you claim common law damages? If your accident was caused by the fault of your employer, you may be able to claim common law damages, even if you were partly responsible. A damages claim includes compensation for pain and suffering, loss of enjoyment of life, past and future loss of income and superannuation, past and future medical and rehabilitation expenses and any paid care and assistance. Once you've lodged your application for compensation, your insurer has 20 business days to accept or reject it. It's illegal for your employer to tell you not to make a claim. Never accept money from your employer in place of lodging a compensation claim. A permanent offer is made in a notice of assessment. You should not respond to the notice of assessment without first seeking urgent legal advice. Short time frames apply and your response can affect your entitlements. So what if your claim for statutory benefits is rejected? If the insurer rejects your claim, it can be reviewed by the workers' compensation regulator. You have three months to do this and you should seek legal advice before lodging your application for review. Can you seek common law damages? 
If your accident was caused by the fault of your employer, you may be able to claim common law damages, even if you were also partly responsible. A damages claim includes compensation for pain and suffering, loss of enjoyment of life, past and future loss of income and superannuation benefits, past and future medical and rehab expenses and paid care and assistance. To arrange your first free consultation, contact Morris Blackburn today on 1800 810 812 or at morrisblackburn.com.au.